Now then, uh, from Victor Hugo to Renoir, the rugged beauty of the Channel Islands has provided inspiration, of course, to countless artists and creatives over the centuries, and it's pulled while it remains just as strong today. Yes, landscape artist Tony Parsons visited Jersey at the height of the pandemic last year and fell in love with the island's dramatic and sun-kissed coastlines. Now he's back to show us the fruits of his labour. Sophie Bird made the most of the autumnal sunshine to catch up with him. Well, the last few days have been glorious, haven't they? We've had some fantastic, dry, settled, sunny weather. The sun is even coming out as I speak, just look at that. And a lot of people are taking to the coastlines to enjoy walks, but also, believe it or not, painting. And I'm joined by Tony, who is over from the UK. Tony, how lovely to see you. Hello. We met last year briefly during lockdown when you came over to do some great artwork and you're back. So tell me, how long are you here for this time? Uh, I'm here for a week. Uh, I've brought all the work I created then to uh, come and show it um, and come make the most of your beautiful views. And I've tried to make sure you've got fairly decent weather for the week. So, so we're here at Beauport and you've just got the most exceptional colours out there, haven't you? I actually missed Beauport last time and I, loads of people told me to come and paint here. So I've, I've come back and... What do you think? Absolutely incredible, yeah. What's the, what's the best bit for you? Is it the, the rugged outcrops or the sea? What's the bit that really entices you? I came here at high tide and I did a painting earlier. Um, looking down on the sea, whether you've got the sand underneath it, it goes turquoise. Um, I don't have that at home. <laughs> Whereabouts is home? Uh, I'm from Brighton, Sussex. So um, different colours then? White chalk cliffs. Uh, yeah, this is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, there's everything for me here. I, I've got vegetation and nice pink rocks. That's a new one. Um, the lovely Jersey granite. The light yeah. on the other side of the island is totally different to the light here. So you were at Montel Guide this morning, That's obviously. That's right, yeah. So, uh, and you finished the piece there? Uh, I finished Montel Guy. On, um, I sat up on the slipway and the tide caught me out there. Um, but I did get to the end of the painting. Um, yeah, again, absolutely fabulous. Last time I was there, it was so windy, I couldn't set an easel up. So this was a wonderful opportunity. Gosh, it's, it's just all beautiful. And you've really, yeah, in that case, you're really experiencing all the weather that Jersey. I'm getting can... <laughs> everything that Jersey can throw at me, yeah. yeah. So you're showing some of your pictures here this week? That's right, yeah. Uh, the Method St. Martin's Methodist Church up near Roselle. Um, and it's a lot of the larger paintings that I took home, all the ideas and made into huge paintings. Um, we're going to have a few of the wet paintings as well. Um, yeah, there's going to be plenty to see. Do come along. Well, best of luck. It's lovely to have you back. And I hope that the lovely weather dries your paintings quickly enough for you to get them off the easel and I into the so. exhibition. <laughs> um, but are we going to continue to see this lovely weather? Because it is actually pretty decent out here at the moment. Let's take a look at the five-day forecast.